Hello, and welcome to this episode of Frankie's Cultural Observations. Today, I'm analyzing hippies. The modern hippie, a white wolf in Native American sheepskin clothing. They don't see color. All they see is other white people with dreadlocks wearing an aesthetic that was stolen off indigenous tribes. The modern hippie loves the Beatles and constantly complains about being born in the wrong era. They yearn to live off the land and go back to a simpler, more conservative time when women weren't allowed on passports. The modern hippie is a recovering private school student that thinks the world would be a better place if everyone just listened to their foraging podcast. They suffer from the debilitating mind state of peace and love, which is code word for, I'm trying to live outside society's rules and I'm kind of selfish, so let me just grow my own vegetables and get that stupid protest out of my face. The modern hippie believes in personal accountability and in draining your personal account so they can use your bank balance to change the world. And then, when they end up spending all your money on acid instead, they instantly turn into a free-loving spirit that doesn't believe in the concept of paying you back. And if you have a problem with it, you can take your low vibrations out of this campsite. There's no room for crying in this judgment-free commune, you normie bitch. The modern hippie is on Instagram and usually has the word free thinker in their bio, which means they follow their intuition and usually end up somewhere on the far right. The modern hippie is highly vulnerable to catching a dose of reactionary conspiracy theories. Even through their daily practice of meditation and letting go through yoga, they still can't let go of the intrusive thought that the government are spying on them through the 5G technology in their lava lamp. Even though 98% of their stoned conversations are one part couch lock armchair philosopher, two parts short term memory loss. So even if someone was listening for incriminating evidence, it'd be like using wet tissue paper to restitch the Sistine Chapel. So at any given time, the modern hippie is only a Kundalini exercise and a bad trip away from David Icke becoming a narrator to the thoughts in the back of their mind. This tendency for the modern hippie to fall into fascism is known as the horoscopes to Hitler pipeline. The SS doesn't actually stand for Sagittarius Sun. The modern hippie can often be found saying, being hippie isn't an aesthetic, it's a lifestyle choice. Even though they buy all their clothes from exploitative fast fashion brands that they pretended to thrift to make themselves seem more hashtag sustainability. The modern hippie believes that positive affirmations and patchouli oil are the solution to all of life's problems. They think this natural remedy can cure cancer, but really, it doesn't even cure their odorous musk. They just smell like a mixture of minty flowers and the sweat from sitting around all day improvising with the jam band that don't know how to play their own instruments. They say the scent of the modern hippie is the real pandemic. The disease has gone viral and has spread all the way to their hairy armpits. For someone that's non-conformist, the modern hippie certainly has a lot of strong opinions. They reject labels, but they'll call you every name under the sun and insult you until you start crying if you so much as suggest that the idea that they're the ones awakening the masses to an invisible paradigm shift that'll help us conquer the new world order kind of makes them sound like, and sorry about this, a middle class weed smoking fascist that hates freedom. The modern hippie can't stop talking about the ego death they had from taking ayahuasca, even though the only thing that's dead about them is their sense of smell, which stops them from realizing how much they stink. The modern hippie MK Ultras, innocent civilians who've never done drugs before, into taking psychedelics and then gaslights them into thinking that they're spiritual beings. The modern hippie builds up their trust with their non judgmental attitude and then guides them on a healing journey into the fiery depths of the forest and steals their phone. This phone can be used as a multi purpose device, a flat surface to snort ketamine, and a platform to start arguments with strangers on Facebook about how COVID is a hologram. Because they went to full moon parties every day for a summer, and the only thing they ever caught was a shopping list full of STDs. The modern hippie is very protective over who they share their energy with. They have to conserve all their power to manipulate people into thinking they're a good person. If you want to cook the modern hippie aesthetic, the instructions would read, Daily Sea Swimmer, 
but make it secretly racist. The modern hippie is the natural evolution of indigo children, which are basically just kids with ADHD who had hippie parents that didn't believe in ADHD, and they were narcissistic enough to believe their kids were restless and distracted because they're too deep for this world. The modern hippie has evolved so far that they no longer trust doctors. Instead, they place all their trust in the healing power of crystal technology and would take any pill, powder, or fungus grown in cow shit off some crust enthusiast named River that they met at a soy trance festival who smells like a potent mixture of school shooter sweat and bad tattoos. <laughs> the modern hippie takes psychedelics and will never learn anything about themselves because they're too busy trying to tell you everything they've learned about themselves and preaching about how we all just need to be a bit kinder to each other, a realization most people learn at the age of six. These evil hippie Jedi mind tricks are so subtle that you almost don't notice them luring you into the back of their van. <laughs>